Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Steel City. No American metropolis is more closely associated with a single industry. And the same toughness and work ethic that powered U.S. Steel for over a century transformed Western Pennsylvania into a football hotbed, whose latest product is on full display every Saturday. Up the sideline, Tyler Boyd is gone for the Panther touchdown. Tyler Boyd can do it all. He can run, he's got hands, but I think the number one thing, the strength that he has is his competitiveness. Ball's in the air, he's gonna find a way to get it. Throws it on the run, down the field to the end zone. Touchdown Panthers! Wow. Tyler Boyd, unbelievable! The uh, ability to change direction, the ability to put his foot in the ground, the ability to accelerate out of a, out of a dead stop. His running back skills show when he's got the ball in his hand. Running with the football is Boyd, he's up the sideline, and he is gone. In my opinion, I felt like I couldn't be stopped. You know, I just wanted to have that confidence that no matter what I did, I was going to do something to, to score or, or make a huge play for the team or just feel like I just can't be stopped. Pittsburgh is a real comfortable environment to live in. It is pretty much open no matter where you're coming from, it'll make you comfortable. Tyler Boyd hails from nearby Clareton, a town that, like so many around Pittsburgh, mirrored the rise and fall of the steel industry. Of the 20,000 people who called Clareton home in the 1950s, only 7,000 remain. And amidst the challenging circumstances, the region's beloved pastime took on an even greater meaning. Football pretty much runs this town. Uh, it's an old steel mill town, but um, football kind of is, is what makes the town go every year. It's probably the heart of this community. I mean, it's a lot that isn't good about the community, but no matter what's going on, everybody in this town, they're at those games on Friday night. Clayton only has like uh, four sports in the whole school, and football is obviously the biggest one. Man, right here we call this the, the bear trap. This is, this is our home, and this is where I'm most comfortable at. Man, I started in the bleachers, man, watching the older guys play out here, and the only thing on my mind was, man, I wish I was out there. I can't wait till I play out there. Boyd's arrival on the Clareton roster coincided with the beginnings of a record-setting run. Despite losing their first game his freshman season, Clareton went on to win the 2009 state championship with Boyd in a reserve role. By 2010, Tyler was in the starting lineup and both he and the Bears would soar to new heights. You could tell right then, the way he ran the ball, you could tell he was gonna be really, really good. It was very impressive. You know, he was a quarterback for us, he was a running back for us, and also a receiver. Tyler played safety for us, he played cornerback for us. Uh, he even asked a few times if he could play some linebacker. You know, he has that instinct to play the game. As coaches, you know, you can compare his running style to somebody. He looked like he was Marcus Allen out there. He just made play after play after play after play. He may run up in a hole and there's no way that he can get out or there's four or five guys around him and then he's in the end zone. And you're like, how did he just do that? Led by Boyd, Clareton finished a perfect 16-0 in Tyler's sophomore and junior seasons, making them a sensation in the football crazed town. As Tyler's senior season began, Clareton was buzzing about the potential for a fourth straight state title and the all-time Pennsylvania record for consecutive wins, which lay just 12 victories away. Once we got to about 30 or 40, we started looking uh, you know, into the record books and things like that to see what team had the longest streak. Tyler just spread his confidence throughout the whole team. And they just knew they were going to win. There it is. Get going, Tyler. Get going, Tyler. Come on. Get going, Tyler. Finish, Finish, Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Get going, baby. Finish it. Get going, baby. Everybody I was watching us felt like we was pressuring and we had to win, you know, because just because they was watching, like, uh, they're going to lose at some point. They're not going to continue their streak. They're not going to keep winning championships, but that was our main goal. And all we want to do is just continue to win and keep winning until somebody can prove us wrong that we were in the best. 
no one was up to that challenge. The Bears finished 16-0 yet again, setting a new state record with their 63-game win streak and lifting Clareton to heights not seen in years. If you want to see what the homecoming looks like for a team that's won four straight championships, this is what it looks like. Well, it feels great, you know, it's like a dream coming true for us, you know. We told them all year long, dude, this is going to be something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. And everybody's going to be talking about it in Clareton for years and years and years to come. We had tremendous support. It was really a good time. Already a hero in his hometown, Tyler endeared himself to the entire Pittsburgh community by committing to Pitt. That was a huge part, you know, because th this is my city, you know, so I wanted to let everybody know I'm coming from a small city to play in a big conference in the ACC, showing people that just because you play in a single way in high school doesn't mean you're not talented enough to play in, in a D1 program. All he knew was winning, you know, and, and so, you know, for us, it was big, you know, that's what we're trying to do here. And he's been great for this team. His impact on the Panthers was both immediate and sustained. Boyd scored five touchdowns in his first three games in a pit uniform and went on to set new school records for receptions and receiving yards by a freshman. Records previously held by Larry Fitzgerald. Looking for Boyd, reaching out and making the catch. Rack up another highlight for Tyler Boyd. All the time when I make plays like that, I'm like, wow, did I just, did I just do that? What you didn't realize he'd be able to um, adapt to quite as quickly was his ability to run routes, track the football, and make plays on the ball in the air. And you don't expect a freshman to be able to, to do that. Tyler Boyd, spectacular! This kid is a flat-out boss. It wasn't like he was surprised, and I think that's what kind of separated him from a typical freshman. It's because he knew his abilities, and so when they happen, when all these plays happened, he expected it. Entering his sophomore season, Tyler is an All-American candidate and one of the faces of Pitt's program. Having faced such pressure before, he and his many hometown supporters are confident his rise will continue. Coming from a, a school, small school in Clare, you know, I was particularly the, the face there too, you know, so I just wanted to continue my role and play my role here like I did back home and, and help this program do what they haven't done in a lot of years. You know, every time I see, you know, Tyler on TV, that sense of pride knowing that he, he, he walked through, uh, you know, our locker room and he, he played out on the field here at Clareton, it, it, it gives you goosebumps. Hopefully one day he'll be playing on Sunday. <laughs>